Welcome, I'm Dr. Liana Leonoff, the coordinating faculty for the Lifestyle Medicine Core Curriculum being presented by the American College of Preventive Medicine and the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Today we are beginning a series of three short videos on culinary medicine and we have with us Dr. Ronnie Pollack who is an expert in culinary medicine and also a program director at the Institute of Lifestyle Medicine Harvard Medical School. Welcome Ronnie. It's a pleasure to be here. And of course all of us are interested in some time-saving techniques but to also eat healthily. Oh yeah, time is a common challenge. Uh, I can share today a few um, culinary techniques and few ingredients to address this challenge. Can you share some examples? Sure. Uh, let's talk about bulgur. So bulgur is a Mediterranean whole grain ingredient that you do not need even a stove to prepare it. The only thing you need is a bowl, boiling water, a lid, and that's it. Uh, you add equal portions of the bulgur and the boiling water into the bowl, cover with the lid, and after three to four minutes, you're done. You have a ready-to-make great bulgur that you can do whatever you like with them. Sounds very easy. You can use it uh, in various ways. Uh, you can use it uh, in any dish that you usually use rice. You can just use the bulgur instead of the rice. But in the Middle East, most of the people do uh, salads with the bulgur. Uh, they call it tabbouleh salad. You can combine uh, any, any vegetables with any greens, lemon juice and olive oil with the bulgur. Uh, but I have my own version of uh, tabbouleh salad. I'm uh, making it with blueberries. I'm combining bulgur, uh, arugula, and spring onions as the greens, uh, blueberries, and little cubes of carrots and cucumbers as the vegetables, with lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. That's it. Wow, interesting. I've had tabbouleh before, but never with blueberries, and I love blueberries, and it also sounds easy to make. Yes, it's great, and it's also great for lunchbox because the flavors blends beautifully after two to three hours. So if you make it in the morning, it's, it's great for, for lunch. Actually, I have a few patients that make tabula salad, a, a more basic version of the salad, in their hotel room while traveling. That's great, because we all need to eat more healthy while we're on the road. Mm -hmm. So do you have some other time-saving <laughs> tips for us? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, first we talk about uh, ingredients. So let's talk about culinary techniques. Uh, for example, batch cooking. So batch cooking is a great technique that can help save tons of time in the kitchen. Uh, batch, cooking, batch cooking is making more portion than you need any time you cook ingredient. For example, let's think about the tabbouleh salad. So you can prepare just one cup of bulgur for the salad, but you can make the whole bag. And then you can use it for many other uses. For example, uh, you can use it uh, to make majadra. So majadra is a Mediterranean dish that usually has been made from rice and green lentils, but you can use the bulgur instead of the rice. It's great to have a variety of options. Um, I'm also curious about how to add legumes to our diet, since we know legumes are so uh, at the heart of a very healthy diet. Can you have some uh, tips for us on uh -huh. legumes? I will start with lentils. Uh, you do not need to soak lentils in order to make them. For example, uh, green lentils needs 25 minutes of simmering, and that's about it. So you can add water and green lentils to a pot, boiling the water, uh, simmer it for 25 minutes, and you have great lentils that you can consume. And actually, lentils are great for batch cooking, the same as the bulgur. Um, I'm, I'm usually making the whole bag, because you can store uh, green lentils both in the freezer and in the refrigerator. Wow, you can freeze lentils. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, defrost lentils are great. You can defrost lentils uh, both on the kitchen counter or uh, preferably in, in the refrigerator. And then when you are short in time or you do not have energy to cook, you can just use the lentils you previously cooked. Wow, so the uh, benefits from batch cooking are pretty amazing. Do you have other quick and healthy uh, tips for us? Sure. Um, let's talk about orange lentils. So the size of the lentils usually affect its cooking time. So orange lentils are very small and it takes only three to four minutes to cook them. So, you know, if you would like to cook orange lentils, uh, you place the lentils with water in a pot, a little bit of salt, and after three to four minutes, you, uh, you're done. You know, 
personally, I, I always have orange lentils in my pantry. Um, you, can, you, you can add a handful of orange lentils into a salad. It's improve its taste, improve its texture. Uh, but I like to prepare orange lentil salad. I'm combining orange lentil with uh, greens, such as thyme and um, spring onion. I'm adding tiny cubes of cucumber, um, garlic, olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper. That's about it. It's a great dinner. Sounds wonderful. So we've been talking about some ingredients, though, that might be hard to find. Do you have some uh, recommendations for our audience if they're not able to find these ingredients in their neighborhood grocery store? Sure. Uh, a few of my patients uh, just, just order online. Every one to two months, they, have a, they, they make a list and order stuff. Um, you know, you don't, you don't need to know exactly what you plan to cook in the coming one or two months, but just having a few staples in your pantry might help you. Very, very helpful. Anything more on saving time? We're all about saving time. <laughs> sure. You can have uh, in your pantry uh, items that we call first step items, such as canned bean. And then you can use them if you don't have time to cook the bean, uh, or if you would like to focus on preparing the dish and, and not preparing the bean itself. But actually what I would like to talk most is about cooking while, while you are not in the kitchen. Cooking while you're not in the kitchen, how does that work? Yeah, I mean, you know, actually there the are recipes that needs a time, but uh, does not need attention from you. For example, think about the green lentils. So it takes like 25 minutes of simmering and, and you don't need to do anything in the kitchen. So you can just place the lentils and the water in a pot, simmer the pot, and then let, let it simmer while you do other stuff. So uh, you've been told me that you would like to increase your legume consumption. Yes, I'd love some ideas about how to eat more legumes. So would you like to think about a goal for the coming week? Uh, please go ahead. So just think about a, a, a lentil that you would like to consume, such as green lentils, and pick a day that you work from home uh, next, uh, next week. And before you sit in your desk, just place the lentils uh, on the stove and then uh, do your work, and after 25 minutes you can come back to the kitchen, uh, take out the lentils from, uh, from the pot, store, store one portion in the refrigerator and the other portions in the freezer, and you're done. I will definitely try that. That sounds like a, a big time saver, especially for those of us working at home. Uh, and so we are at the end of this first segment. Thank you for some wonderful tips around working with bulgar, making tabbouleh, batch cooking, freezing, and cooking while you're not in the kitchen. How great is that? So I look forward to more tips in the next segment. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> And thank you, audience, for being with us. As always, the recipes are attached to this module, and we look forward to seeing you in our next segment. <laughs>